Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen for review and this was sent to me on loan. Um, this is a Penida La Grande Bellezza. Now, Penida was founded in Firenze or Florence in Italy in 1774. And Penida have historically been very well known for their paper and cardstock. They make paper, embossed paper, uh, for heads of state and also for monarchs as well. But Penida have over the years actually delved into making fountain pens and Penida more recently in the last two to three years now that Dante Del Vecchio has moved to Penida from Visconti have started releasing a lot of pens so this is the Penida La Grande Bellezza and this is the Arco so let's open the box to get this box here uh, it's a uh, just an outer sleeve box and if I remove the outer sleeve box you will see what looks to be like a writing desk and you'll see there you have the Penida emblem and Penida Firenze 1774. Now these are pleather boxes so plastic leather uh, or faux leather boxes but this is like a writing desk so you open the box and you open the top of the box and the first thing you will see here is there is a Penida logo again and also up here another Penida logo you also get this and this is an embossed logo here again for Penida and this contains a load of information so you get an identity card for the pen you get an instruction booklet you get a company profile you get a limited international warranty and a pen filler instruction so you get all of these in this lovely cardboard wallet so you can keep everything together which is quite nice and then you have a number of things here you have the Penida Arco fountain pen you have a Penida pen filler as well and I'll go into a little bit more detail with this and then you have a very small pipette and that is to enable you to fill the pen filler so this is the beautiful Arco fountain pen now this is not obviously the Arco material that Omas was renowned for. This is a resin, it's not a celluloid, and to be honest, I think most people know the difference. But within its right, this is a beautiful material. You can see there that this material has a huge amount of chatoyance going on there in the pen, and it actually does resemble wood and that's the reason why Omas when they had the Arco celluloid called it Arco because it looked a little bit more like wood grain effect that was going on so I can see why Penida uh, have created this as the Arco because it does look like a wood grain effect pen so I think let's explore the pen in a little bit more detail we have a Penida finial here we have the quill clip and this is a spring-loaded clip and is very springy quite tight as well so it's not actually going to fall out of your pocket very easily you have a cap band here that says Penida and you can then see there the lovely little sort of inscription that you have on the pen now this is quite a cylindrical pen sort of tapers out towards the cap finial here and it starts to taper in a bit to the center point of the cap and then it, it actually really maximizes itself by the cap band and then it tapers back down again here to what is the piston filling knob the piston filling knob is actually blank um, but it is a functional piston filling knob and not a blind cap 
Now, the thing that I like about these Le Grande Bellettes is, is that these have a magnetic clasp. So you just pull and you can remove the nib or remove the pen from the cap. And if I put this on very gently, you'll see it snaps into place. And it, all you have to do is twist it and it will unsnap. So these have magnets, very strong magnets inside, and these are polarizing magnets. So they are opposites, and you will find that it will always snap to the same position every single time that you put this cap on. Now, you can post this cap as well, and it is also magnetic as well, but you can twist the cap if you wish to. So it's a slightly different uh, magnet that's uh, employed there for the cap, but you can see there in the size of my hand, this is actually quite a long pen if you post that cap. It's also a little bit back heavy, I would say, as well, because that cap adds a bit of weight and you've got a magnet I would say probably in the cap and also maybe in the piston filling knob there as well though it may just be in the cap but it does add a bit of weight. So the great thing about these Penidas are that the nib is a 14 karat gold quill nib and these nibs are very nice. So this is a medium 14 karat gold nib and you'll see that it has some cutout wings there on the nib and that allows you to actually flex the nib a little bit more than you would in a conventional nib. Now this is a plastic ABS feed, it's just a regular ABS plastic feed so it's not an ebonite feed. This isn't a cartridge converter pen like a lot of the, of the Le Grande Bellettes. This is a piston filling mechanism and all you have to do is just twist the piston filling knob and you will see eventually here on the ink window if you watch that that you see the piston coming down and then coming back up again. So this is a piston not a cartridge converter so you are getting that in the price. There is also a little bit of a strange shape on this section and I always thought when I purchased my original two Le Grande Bellettes is that this would be a very very uncomfortable pen to hold but it's actually very very comfortable because your fingers actually rest against in this like little divot here and they don't actually start getting across onto the nib so for me this is actually a very very comfortable pen to write with and I do like these Le Grande Bellettes a lot. I had two of them. Uh, I, I I like how the nib writes. I like that they are quite wet nibs. This is a medium nib on this one that I have on loan. And you can see the M there that's laser etched onto the nib. So although these are 14 karat gold nibs, uh, this is a rhodium plated nib. So it's not gold in color, but it is a gold nib. So for me, this is a really great looking pen. I think let's look at this material again in a little bit more detail here. This is a really lovely sort of arco or wood grain effect going on here. Uh, and I like that chatoyance there. That chatoyance is mesmerizing. So for me, this is a really, really great pen. And this is a pen that I have actually been contemplating buying for a long time. I haven't because there have been other pens that I have wanted and when I get over wanting those pens then maybe a few more pens come along. So for me this has been a, a pen that has been on my watch list or wish list for some time and I am trying very hard at the moment to not purchase this pen because uh, this is on loan um, so this is not my pen and it should be going back but I do like this Harco sort of pattern that they have going on here in the wood grain effect and I do like the Penida Le Grande Bellettes so uh, this is going to be a very tricky one for me because it's a pen that I don't want to put down so 
I think let's do a size and weight check, we'll do a pen comparison, and then we'll do a writing sample. So, the length of this pen is about 144 millimeters in length. The length of the cap is 71 millimeters in length. And if I take off the cap there, and there is a magnetic in the box, so that pen is snapping itself around a little bit, and now it's snapping itself to the ruler. It's 130 millimeters to the tip of the tine. I'll just grab that pen so it doesn't go flying. And then we'll do a weight check. So I will probably move this box out of the way because the problem we will have is that that magnet might actually make a difference to the weighing scales. So the weight of this pen is just over 42 grams uninked. The weight of the cap is just under 17 grams. And then the weight of the pen uninked, we are looking at just under 23 grams. So that's actually quite a good weight for a pen. It's not a light pen, but it's not a heavy pen. It's, I would say, just about right. So I think let's do a comparison with some other pens. So, from left to right, we have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero in the Hawaii. We have a Scribo Phil in the Verde Prato. We have a Sailor King of Pen, Sakura Nagar. We have a Pelican M1000 Raden Sunlight. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Braun Swirl. We have the Penida La Grande Bellezza Arco. We have a Visconti... Davina, Elegance, and this is the oversize in the green. We have a Pelican M800 Royal Gold Raden. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Black and Gold Luchens. And we have a, an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Brown. Now, I mentioned that there was the Omas Arco, and this is the Omas Arco compared to the... Panida Arco. Now these are two very different materials. The Omas Arco here in the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra is a celluloid material but you can see it has very close resemblances between the two pens although the Panida is actually an Arco resin. So these are two very different types of materials but I do still like this Arco. This Arco really is a good Arco material. So I also want to show you the Panida pen filler and the Panida pen filler is actually an ingenious sort of ink pot or traveling inkwell that you can use to fill up your pen from. So the idea is you have this very tight sort of friction based cap and it's conical here so that it creates a much tighter seal and if I unscrew this the idea is if I unscrew it all the way you will see that there is a blue plastic sort of inner sheath there which can come out for cleaning and then you have the pen filler pot now I have already done a review of the pen filler so I'm not going to fill it up but the idea is that you unscrew this cap a little bit you push the pen in and then you tighten this up and then you have a pen that is in here that you can actually fill properly from ink letting gravity do its thing to get the ink into the pen and then once you finish you unscrew it you wipe off the section put your pen back in its cap and what you would do is screw down that outer cap and then put the bung back in and then you have this traveling ink pot or inkwell uh, which Panida call the pen filler 
Now you can also fill that with this if you don't have an ink syringe. Personally, I prefer to fill it with an ink syringe, but I find that these are a lifesaver and I have quite a few of these pen fillers myself. So let's do a writing sample. So this is the Penida La Grande Bellezza and it is the Arco. Now this is a 14 karat gold medium nib. Now this actually has quite a flexible nib here and you'll see that because of the wing cutouts. So in terms of the normal line variation I'll show you that in a little bit but the ink I'm using here at the moment today inked up in this pen is Waterman and it's absolute brown. Now in terms of line variation this is a medium 14 karat gold nib so you are going to get a medium line variation here. Now I'm not going to push this nib too much but you can coax probably two to three times the amount out of this nib and I will show you here with the figure of eights that it is possible to get line variation out of these quill nibs from Penida. Now in terms of wetness we'll do a wetness test as well and bearing in mind this is a medium nib you'll see there that this is actually quite a wet writing nib so that for me is what I would class as a fire hose of a nib that nib is super wet now this is Waterman absolute brown ink and that is a very very sort of well behaving ink but for me this pen writes very very well what do I like and not like about the pen well it's got a magnetic clasp here it has a piston filling mechanism the pen looks gorgeous the Arco material is really really stunning so for me there really isn't anything that I dislike about this pen I think the pen writes very well it writes very smoothly for a 14 count gold medium nib there's line variation there as well for me this is a pen that writes very very well and it's a pen that I've wanted to pick up for a very long time and it's probably going to take most of my willpower to actually not pick this pen up and actually buy the pen but I do have other pens on my wish list so I do need to consider those first but this definitely is a pen that I would say is probably going to be high up there in terms of me wanting to own in the near future. So I'd like to thank Michael from the Manuscript Pen Company for the loan of this pen for review. They are the UK distributor for Penida and many other pen brands. You can check out their website at manuscriptpen.com. So again, I'd like to thank Michael for sending me this pen on loan for review. So that's my review of the Penida La Grande Bellezza Arco in a 14 karat gold medium nib. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.